with super modified two-wheel drive truck pulling ready to shake them from the rafters here with U.S. Hot Rod Association action on Super Tracks. Several of the world's best two-wheel drive super modified trucks, 6,200 pounds ready to try and take the sled all the way down the track here in Philadelphia. And right off the bat, it's a classic. The 1923 Altered T Richard McPherson and the Missouri Raider, he comes out of Circleville, Ohio. He'll be our test puller here in the Spectrum. The Missouri Raiders been having an outstanding season in U.S. Hot Rod Association action, but he's got a tough field to try and cover today here in Philadelphia. Ready to go with Dick McPherson's Missouri Raider. Looky here, the Missouri Raider almost drove it out of the Philadelphia Spectrum, and I would guess they're going to at least change the gearing or reweight the sled and make McPherson come back. But again, this is the kind you love if it counts. Unfortunately for Dick McPherson as the test puller now, the word is official. He will not be allowed to keep the pull. It looked pretty, but he's going to have to come back. They've changed the sled. It looks like the gearing has been changed just a little bit. The gearing will now make the transfer case actually ride up the sled faster, and that'll bog the trucks down quicker and keep them from going out the back end. Chris Huff out of Alberton, Pennsylvania will now serve as our first official puller. He's in the flashback, 1989 Chevy S10. 567 cubic inches under the hood. Well, I guess I should say exploding out of the hood of flashback. Sensational pull for Chris Huff and the flashback Chevrolet out of Alberton, Pennsylvania. A bunch of Alberton fans here in the spectrum pulling for flashback, and he gave him a dandy. Watch the nose come up just a little bit. Picture perfect pull. And on this track, where a full pull is 135 feet, he's got it out of here. Three feet past the full pull mark, so we know that Chris Huff has a full pull. And unless someone else goes past 135 feet, he's going to get the win here in the Spectrum. But there is a full class of top two-wheel drive pullers to go, including this guy, one of the best in the business. He'll pull twice today, first in his little red truck Dodge. It's Wayne Roush, the Ohio State professor out of Dublin, Ohio. down at the end some problems for the Dodge Wayne Roush out of Ohio in the little red truck watch again as you'll see at the end it just wasn't there for Wayne Roush the advantage that Roush has is that he can use whatever he may have learned from the track on this run on his next run he's got another vehicle we'll see in a little bit the yellow model T there's the distance 121 feet eight and a half inches for Wayne Roush out of Dublin Ohio yes this is the Missouri Raider back Dick McPherson was our test puller. We had to change the sled, so he has to come back now and again try to pass that 135-foot mark to record a full pull. If he can do it, he'll force Chris Huff into a pull-off. Right now, Huff's the leader with a full pull because he went past the 135-foot mark here in the Spectrum. The 1923T of Dick McPherson. Excellent pull, and it looks like he's got enough. The Missouri Raider, Dick McPherson on the replay. On the test pull, he almost took it completely out the back door. You can see the change on the sled has made it tougher to pull, but still, the Missouri Raider does have enough. He goes past the 135-foot mark, 136-1. It's officially a full pull for Richard McPherson. So we know we're going to have a pull-off. Two have qualified for it. Chris Huff in flashback and Dick McPherson's Missouri Raider. Next to give it a try will be the heartbreaker. S10 King Cab out of Baltimore, Maryland. Grady Barr behind the wheel of the Heartbreaker. Boy, he really took the slack out of the chain rough. Let's see, he's ready to go. It's the Heartbreaker from Maryland. You gotta have a full pull. That means past 135 feet to stay alive in the spectrum.
to bleed it for a little bit more. It is barely short of the mark. The heartbreaker is going to come up short of that 135-foot mark. It was a pretty good-looking pull, and at this point, the wheel speed was up. Nose coming up nicely. The heartbreaker was in good shape. Just not enough to get it out the back end. About three feet short is going to be the official distance, 132 feet, two inches. Well, I mentioned Wayne Roush a moment ago in the little red truck that he would come back. Well, here he is, the yellow Model T. Roush out of Dublin, Ohio. Well, ease it back. You get a great look right there is that how they have to just take it easy and try and get back to the sled to allow room to hook up and then pull that thing on down the track. Wayne Roush is coming at you in the yellow Model T. Wayne's not going to be happy with that one at all. The yellow T's been having a super year, but not this time. Well short of that full pull line. And to be perfectly honest, I don't see what might have been wrong, except that it just never happened for him. He never looked like he was hooked to the track. And indeed, the sled takes him down at 127 feet, 8 inches. Wayne Roush, well short of the full pull mark. Well, another Pennsylvania truck will be coming up now. We know Alberton, Pennsylvania's Chris Huff has qualified for the pull-off. We'll see if Butch Lepley out of Myersdale, Pennsylvania, can take his good and plenty 1990 Ford Ranger out the back end here at the Philadelphia Spectrum. Beautiful 1990 Ford and Butch Lepley, another Pennsylvania native, trying to put on a show in Philadelphia Spectrum. It'll take 135 feet or better to qualify for the pull-off along with Flashback and the Missouri Raider. Oh, he's so close, but just a little bit short of that orange cone that marked the 135-foot mark. Watch it again on the replay. It's a good-looking pull for good and plenty. Butch Lepley has a lot of power, but just not quite enough to get it out the back end. The distance will come in two feet short, 133 feet even. Again, it takes a 135 to qualify for the pull-off. So, Butch Lepley comes up just a bit short. We're now going to look at the 38 Special Chevrolet out of Stanley, New York. Dave Shoemaker behind the wheel. He'll have to try and get past that full pull mark if he wants to stay alive here in the Spectrum, as we know the Missouri Raider and Flashback are going to come back and see us a little bit later. We'll see if 38 Special can join them with a full pull. Not going to get there. Beautiful, classic-looking machine, but not enough power in the 1938 Special. Dave Shoemaker on the replay never gets a whole bunch of wheel speed. And on this track, if you don't come out of the gate with some speed, you're not going to take it out the back end. The distance is 121 feet, nine and a half inches, well short of the 135 it takes to make the pull-off. You saw the Missouri Raider a little bit ago. That's a 1923 Model T. This is a 1930 Roadster out of Camden, North Carolina. Randy Brown calls it Sweet Thang. And notice that he spells Thang, T-H-A-N-G. Randy Brown out of Camden, North Carolina. Ready to go. Takes the slack out. He'll get a green flag. And he's underway at Philadelphia Spectrum on Super Tracks. It's close, but it's not going to be quite enough. A couple, maybe three feet short of that full pull mark. We'll take a look at Randy Brown on the replay. As he gets a good hand from the fans in Philadelphia, but he just comes up a little bit short. Good wheel speed. It was a good pull. It just didn't have enough power to take it out of here. The distance is 132 feet, two inches for the sweet thing out of Camden, North Carolina. Well, Richard McPherson has already qualified for the pull-off. His son, Jeff McPherson, now comes out in the Bean Bandit 1990 Ford Ranger, again, out of Circleville, Ohio. He's hooked to the sled and still conferring with our starting line officials. And now the Bean Bandit takes out the slack. Everything's ready. It's green conditions on the track. And Jeff McPherson will try and make it a three-way pull-off. Here he goes. No, it's 
not there at all for Jeff McPherson. You can see that cone marks where he had to take the sled for a full pull, and he's not even close. The bean banded Ford Ranger coming up well short. Let's look at the replay. It just never happened for Jeff as he stays in the middle of the track and then starts to fade left at the end and gets a big bounce on the end as well. And that's not good on the equipment. 123 feet, two and a half inches. Disappointment for Jeff McPherson, but there's still a McPherson in the pull-off. Richard will be coming back later. Our final competitor with a chance to qualify for the pull-off is a Kentuckian out of Warsaw, Kentucky. This is Wayne Sullivan and his Chevy S10, he calls Tough Cookie. 135 feet is the full pull mark. Anything past that, and you get to come back and try for the win at the Philadelphia Spectrum. So far, we've got two in the pull-off. Sullivan would love to make it a three-way. He blasts past the full pull mark. They had to put out the red flag to shut him down, or Wayne was just going to take it out the door and keep driving. What a pull for the tough cookie. Look at it again. This is picture perfect on the replay. Well past the full pull mark. As a matter of fact, in recording distances, this is the best pull of the entire first round. 142 feet. All you had to do was go past 135, and Sullivan joins Richard McPherson and Chris Huff in the pull-off at the Philadelphia Spectrum. So once again, the top three went past the 135-foot mark, and that puts them in the pull-off. Good and Plenty will finish fourth, followed by Heartbreaker, Sweet Thing, three, Yellow Model T, Bean Bandit, 38 Special, and Wayne Roush's Little Red Truck. <laughs> A trio of top super modified two-wheel drive truck pullers were good enough in the first round to earn another shot at Philadelphia Spectrum. It's time for our pull-off between the three that you just saw go past that full pull mark here on Super Tracks. Interesting to note, I think, that all three of them looked very strong at the end and that the final puller actually had the longest distance. What that basically means is that the track is holding the power, it's staying consistent, and we'll get a firm determination on who is the best here today in Philadelphia. Alberton, Pennsylvania's Chris Huff will be first up, and he really wants to get this victory in front of the home state fans in Philadelphia. Flashback to 1989, Chevy S10. We'll hook to the sled and get ready. My understanding is all they did was change the gearing on the sled a little bit. So these guys ought to be able, with a good pull, to get close to that 135-foot mark again. This looks awfully good. He has put it right at the spot that earlier was a full pull, 135 feet, and that is with a tougher sled to pull. Very impressive run for Chris Huff and the flashback Chevrolet. Look at him again, as you cannot make it look any better than that. Picture perfect for flashback, and indeed, he went past 135. Full pulls no longer count, but this would have been another one. 135 feet, five and a half inches. And now, Richard McPherson, knowing he is really going to have to lay down a shot if he wants to get past flashback's distance. The Missouri Raider, 1923, altered T out of Circleville, Ohio. McPherson, a long-time veteran of the two-wheel drive form of tractor and truck pulling. It's gonna be close, but not quite enough. A little bit short. The Missouri Raider, I thought about midway through the track, might have enough but he bogged down near the end of the track and comes up a couple of feet short. Right here, McPherson looked great, but at the end, it was not quite enough to get past the 135-foot mark where Chris Huff laid his shot down. 133.11, 133 feet, 11 inches for Dick McPherson and the Missouri Raider. Well, Chris Huff has dodged the first bullet, but he knows the toughest one probably is gonna come right here in the tough cookie and Wayne Sullivan out of Warsaw, Kentucky. The reason that I say that is if you'll remember back in the first round, the tough cookie actually, distance-wise, had the furthest pull of anyone 
even though once you went past the full pull mark, it didn't matter. Sullivan looked great the first time around. Can he do it again? He's got a beat, 135 and five. Close, but not quite enough. The tough cookie tried to stretch it out for a couple more feet, but Wayne Sullivan comes up a little bit short in that Chevy S10. Much like McPherson, the pull looked very good, but when it got close to the end, he didn't have quite enough to get past Alberton, Pennsylvania's Chris Huff, and the flashback Chevrolet will come up the winner as the tough cookie comes in at 133 feet. And there you get a look at your winner pulling on out of here. He gets a big win in Philadelphia. Flashback wins it, Missouri Raider will go second, and Wayne Sullivan finishes third in the tough cookie.